can get the fallout now from the decision by President Trump and the FAA to ground all Boeing MAX 8 and 9 planes in the U.S. Take a look at the flight radar. It shows last week all the MAX planes flying. Then this morning, empty skies. Our chief transportation correspondent David Curley is at Reagan National Airport with the latest. Good morning, David. George, in the coming hours, we may get some answers about whether or not these two crashes are related. In the meantime, an inconvenience for thousands of passengers as airlines are forced to cancel flights. This morning, those two black boxes arriving in France where the data will be extracted and determine whether the 370 brand new 737 MAX jetliners around the world, which are grounded, will stay parked. We just got a call from your company. You need to contact them. Tower Southwest 410, we've been directed to return to the gate. The FAA joining the rest of the world in grounding the jet, some of which were on the runway, forced to return to the gate. The pilot came on and he said, uh, President just said that all the flights are grounded and we're returning to the gate. This MAX 8, just one of the 72 idled in the U.S., leaving passengers stranded, some frustrated. I thought that they should have done a better job of notifying people at least. I'd rather be home. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Better safe than sorry. Roughly 43,000 passengers a day were flying a MAX jet in the U.S. The three airlines, Southwest, American, and United, expected to cancel more than 200 flights today, and that will continue. The concern is whether two crashes in less than five months of this aircraft are related. The FAA, under public pressure, saying a refinement of satellite tracking data and evidence from this debris field in Ethiopia showed similarities. Both planes were moving erratically up and down after takeoff before crashing. The FAA also citing Ethiopia's slowness to retrieve data from the black boxes. Now that the data is being pulled from those black boxes, we may know in the coming hours whether or not all those brand new jetliners will stay on the ground. And that is the big question. Is there an inherent problem with this new 737 MAX? Those black boxes will give us the answer and we should have the data relatively soon. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.